I don't know. But Full Gear is on Saturday, Dora. Mm -hmm. You want to give some predictions? I know you don't really be watching AEW like that. Yes, it's a prediction. All right. We got some here. In the first match, you know what I'm saying? We got MJF mm -hmm. versus, well, MJF and a partner to be announced because, you know, he's the ring honor tag team. Max again. I hope it's Max. Um, Max. <laughs> you hope it's who? I hope it's Max. Max who? Or, or what's it? Yeah, isn't that his name? MJF? No, the other one. Or that's not his name. From the acclaimed. Oh, Max Caster. That's what I'm saying. No, his name's Max, too. Yeah, that Max. I want them again. I like their little story of how he doesn't like to pick him. I want him to pick him again. So. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't <laughs> think he's going to be picked uh, against the guns, Austin Gun and Colton Gun. Um, just the way they've been working this, mm -hmm. probably MJF winning, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Guns win for some reason. The Guns, the Guns are former AEW Tag Team Champions. Mm -hmm. Um, shocking, and yeah, I, I don't feel like they care about them Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's a match on the card. Yeah, I, so MJF, since he had the tag team titles, he's been all over AEW program. Yeah. Athena is the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. We can't give, even get her on AEW. Mm -hmm. So when I say it's like time for her to give up that belt, I'm only saying that so she can get on the AEW but Yeah, and get to, see, to wrestle. Like everybody yeah. else, she should be taking her way over with the championship on AEW so people can see her because her and Billy Starks been giving some gold on Ring of Honor. Um, the next match, Sting, Darby Allen, and A I mean Adam Copeland uh, with Ric Flair against <laughs> Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Nick Wayne. Hopefully Ric Flair survives, you know. Just I mean, Ric Flair's not wrestling. He's just He's accompanying, uh, accompanying Sting. Ric Flair cannot help himself. He's gonna do something. Like he'll he'll do something. He's gonna take some kind of bump to scare everybody. Like I just know it. Like a worry. He said he gonna take it. He gonna throw a punch. I don't know. I I would hope not. But you know, if that's what he feels, you know, he's Ric Flair. He can do anything. Honestly. All right. I didn't talk about this earlier, but Orange Cassidy will be facing John Moxley. John Moxley basically, John Moxley did last night in the tag match, what I believe a lot of people should be doing with Orange Cassidy. Like, he didn't sell anything. Orange Cassidy was hitting him. He was just like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, what, what I tell people is I will have Moxley win this match. Mm -hmm. I will give Orange Cassidy the win against Moxley until like 2024. When they have like uh what is it, the revolution pay-per-view? Um, that would just be the route that I would go with that. Um, but in this match, you know, we'll see what happens. Um Adam Page versus Strickland. I'm going with Adam Page. Mm -hmm. um, I think Strickland won the first one. So I think you get us with Adam Page. Yeah. Um Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho against the Young Bucks. I, I did see that one. That's why the suit upset me also so much was that the interview portion. I was like, Chris Jericho, there's you, no, 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 no. The suit is what upset me. I'm sorry. This whole story is set around um, the Young Bucks don't like Kenny with Je Chris Jericho. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, Kenny and Chris Jericho win, they get the Young Bucks World Tag Team Championship opportunity. But if the Young Bucks win, then Chris, Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho have to split up. Um, Can they cheat this time like they did last night? They did cheat last night in their hometown. So The Young Bucks, yeah, they did do that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get to the best part of the card that I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So women's matches. 
Mm-hmm. Got the AEW Women's Championship, Hiroko Shida versus Tony Timeless Tony Storm. Now, my whole thing with Shida versus Timeless Tony Storm, um, Tony Storm beat her before. Well, she to beat Tony Storm before the AEW All In in Wembley. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I I I don't want to feel like they use using Sheeta as transition so they can have Tony become champion, but Tony with her timeless gimmick has really just been. Killing it. Yeah, killing it. So I wouldn't be shocked if they pulled the trigger to give her the championship. Um, Chris Statlander versus Julia Hart versus Sky Blue. I'm not going to pick a winner on this one because everybody know I want Sky Blue to win. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was looking at it like this, right? Because everybody like, oh, Sky Blue should join Julia Hart and they do this and that. Um, so what if you have a scenario in the match mm-hmm. where Sky Blue and Julia Hart are going at it and Julia Hart is going to miss Sky Blue, but she misses mm-hmm. and she misses Chris Statlander. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, Chris Statlander, eyes are all black. This gives Sky Blue lights and Julia Hart's like, oh. Sky Blue throw her out the ring. Sky Blue can get a one, two, three, get a championship. That's how I would like to see it play out. Um, but I would love to see a twist where instead of everybody talking about Sky Blue and Willow going to heel, where they just turn Chris Statlander heel with Julia Hart. You know, that'll be something different. And that'll turn. They'll be like, oh my God, what's going on here? You know, that'll be cool. But you know. Julia Hart, Sky Blue going at it. Julia goes to Mr. Sky Moon. Mm-hmm. Chris Statlander gets in the eyes. Now Statlander is the heel. Statlander and Julia Hart and Sky Blue and Willow because Sky Blue always got Willow back and we don't break up Sky and Willow. Mm-hmm. Um, I would love to see that happen. But they probably would go with like Julia Hart winning or Statlander retaining. Mm-hmm. Um, but <clears throat> I want to see Sky Blue win all day, every day. Um, a bullshit match. Really starts from Big Bill. Oh, okay. Against uh Russian Drillistico, um, FTR, and then the Kings of the Black Throne, Malachi Black and Brody King. Uh, this is just gonna be a crazy match. Four teams, all going at it. I would love to see Ricky Starks uh come out with and Big Bill come out with the victory. Um, that's where I'm at with this. I love to see Ricky Starks and Big Bill continue uh, with their tag team title run. Uh, so shout out to Ricky Starks doing his thing. Uh, last match, MJF and Jay White. I under no situation believe Jay White is gonna win this match. Yep. No. He's been walking around with that title for like two months, so it's like it's fake. His fake title ring. Um, I just don't see them pulling the trigger with it. I truthfully still do believe, like the devil, the person under the devil mask is 